The spine scorpion suture passer is ideal for closing the fascia at the end of minimally invasive spine procedures. The low-profile design allows for easy access to the fascia at all depths for procedures done through either a tubular or mini-open approach. The scorpion automatically passes and retrieves multiple types of suture, including O and 2O resorbable suture. To load, depress and hold the handle so that the tip of the needle is deployed from the foot. Once the needle is exposed, create a loop with the suture so that there is roughly one inch of tail, and then wrap the suture over the needle. Pull the suture snug so that it engages with the notch at the tip of the needle. While continuing to hold the suture snug, release the handle so that the needle retracts, pulling and loading the suture into the foot. With the suture properly loaded, pull the trigger to close the jaw and introduce the scorpion into the incision to the depth of the fascia. Once the proper depth has been achieved, open the jaw of the scorpion and slide the foot under the fascia. Gently close the jaw to grasp the fascia, manipulating as needed. Squeeze the handle to advance the needle, passing the suture through the fascia. Once complete, release the trigger and handle. The jaw will automatically capture the suture and the instrument can be removed from the incision. To remove the suture, pull the trigger to close the jaw and squeeze the handle to advance the needle while using your opposite hand to pull the suture. Reload the suture into the scorpion and pass through the other side of the fascia. Using a new suture, repeat the previous steps. First, in the opposite corner of the fascia incision, and then in the middle, passing as many times as needed until the surgeon feels the fascia can be adequately closed. Depending on the depth of the incision, a knot pusher may be required to appropriately tie the knots and secure the suture. Additionally, a suture cutter may be required beyond a certain depth to properly cut the suture. It is recommended that a tail between 2 to 4 millimeters be left after cutting. 